We're gonna go visit the general next. Do 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 do. Da 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 do. Nice. know of them. Did I go the wrong way? I think I took a wrong turn there. Or I I missed the turn more accurately. Oh yeah, I, I blew past it way too early, or early on and then I just kept going. You came at a good time, son. You mentioned that there is still some room to customize my car. Ah, yes I did. I think your gas tank could do with a boost, don't you? A larger tank would mean you can go farther with one fill-up. That would be great. In which case, you need to find a scrap tank. I think there's one... Around N5. Okay. This will be the last enhancement you can make to your vehicle. So get out there and find it. N5, you say? <laughs> so N is... Okay, so it's like right there, which means I just need to go this way. This is like the closest one. So, have you found what we need? This is it. This will save your life someday, son. General. Imbecile. Shut up and listen to your superiors, right? <laughs> That's right. This will be my last story for you two. Toward the end of the war, I found myself alone in enemy territory. It was thick jungle, and I couldn't call for support. I was up the creek without a paddle a boat or even a life jacket. Eventually, weakened by hunger and thirst, I was reduced to crawling. Death was closing in, I could feel it. More than anything, I longed for water. 
I fell to the ground. Water filled my mind, my thoughts, that's all I wanted. I should have died there. I wasn't moving. My last wish for a drink unfulfilled. I should have died, but as you can see, I didn't. When I awoke, my throat was moist. I saw another man collapsed at my side. There were spots of water by his feet. From the look of things, he brought water to me cupped in his hands, making trip after trip to the river. Who was it? Sergeant Timothy. That crybaby Timothy. He was dead. Shot by the enemy. Later, I won battle after battle. I guess luck was on my side as well. Before I knew it, I was promoted to general. But in my heart, there was a hole. A gaping hole. I believe I died that day on the battlefield. I died with crybaby Timothy. Anyway, that's my last war story for you. Time for your final customization. So I wonder if that's why he wears the sergeant jacket. He's not actually, he, he might actually be a general in that he so wears. That explains why he's yeah. wearing a sergeant's badge on him. Time kept flowing for him and he kept moving up in rank. But inside of him, time stopped a long time ago. We didn't get any info out of him about the raincoat killer. At least his war story solved one of the mysteries of this town. Let's leave him alone. I doubt he knows anything about the case at hand. That'll increase the amount of gas your car can carry. You remind me of my men. They had a strong sense of justice. Those idiots. Don't stop. Eyes forward. And laugh. Ha! Thanks, General. I appreciate it. All right. Got another upgrade for our car. We have a few more stops that we need to make. We're going to take a left here, stop at the gas station. I need to go to the sheriff's department. I need to go to Brian's house. And then we got to go to the extended lines. I think that's about all I need to do. Oh, Sigourney is up at the hospital. Usha wants to talk to us too. Heck, never mind, there's a bunch to do. Let's get the gas first. Then we'll get the car wash. I think this is only the second one, and apparently I need to get like six of them. So like how her sponge like mostly misses. <laughs> and she only gets like such a tiny section of the windshield. Okay, we're done here. Maybe I should back up 
and uh, see if I can get Jack to come out. Nope, it's her again. Well, we'll get another car wash. I can skip it. Okay. If she comes out again, I'm just gonna buy three more. It's fine. There we go. Okay, there's Jack. I'll just buy three more the next time I see her. Four hundred bucks. <laughs> Benjamin, today's a big day. I'm one lucky fella now, ain't I? Thanks to this monkey in a suit, I got ten of you now. Makes working for an honest dollar look pretty bad now, don't it? With this green, I'm going to get me a new muffler. I better get over to the generals and look for one. Reminds me, man, that general. He was going on about some high-fly car that just came in. Said it was the car that FB idiot drove into town with. Must be a sweet-sounding ride, though. I bet with a little tuning, it would run pretty smooth. Ah, what do I care? It ain't my thing. Interesting. So the general has my car for sale? Zack, I think I understood what he was talking about. My car is at the general's junkyard. Let's get over there and see if we can get it repaired. I don't care what it's going to cost. That car has sentimental value. Oh, that was the last time I needed to bribe him. Okay. Let's go get my car back then. Not that, not that I miss the, not that I don't like the convertible. The convertible is got loud music when I go into it, and I don't, I just don't think it quite fits the, uh, the mood, you know. Hey there, Cracker. How you doing? something I want to ask you. What is it? Before you ask, though, I can't customize your car anymore. No, it's not about that. I heard you've got my other car here. The one I drove to Greenvale. Your car? So that high-spec beauty was yours. Yes. I was wondering, you know, if you could fix it up for me. I won't mind if it costs me a bunch to get it repaired. Quite important to you, is it, this car? <laughs> Very well, then. If you're willing to pay, I'll do the work for you. How much is it going to be? Because I got like 18K on me. <clears throat> Perfect day to go on a treasure hunt. If you dig deep enough, you might find something. Okay, go for it. Okay, thank you very much. It's gonna take a while to carry out the repairs, though. Go and get a good night's sleep and come back soon, why don't you? Once it's done, I'll put it out front. Just use this key and take it. Nice. 
Don't worry. I may not look it, but I'm pretty darn good at what I do. Okay. We got our car back. Son, are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. I just paid you 5k. Fuck off. Go fix my car. So we'll take we'll we'll get my car back soon. Alright. We got a few other places we need to go before we can do the next mission. Let's head. Let's get to the to the police station. I think that's a good place to go. Cause there's like an eating symbol with Emily. Is it am I gonna like have a meal with her? Or are we gonna go on a date? setting her up to get killed, aren't you? teach you how to interact with women yeah we'll we'll, we'll, t we'll take the time out of our day york and i'll teach you how to interact with women i'm sure that'll go great okay i'm not sure exactly where is this the station here i think so save because I haven't saved in a hot second here all right let's go talk to Nick and then we'll go find Emily your man. I'm just a suspect. Nick. I didn't do it. Actually, I believe you. But until we catch the real murderer, you're going to remain a prime suspect. What's going to happen to me then? Oh, never mind. I'm more worried about Olivia. How's she doing? Come on, say something. I can't tell you anything. If that's the case, could could you hand her a letter, please, Agent? You don't mind me inspecting it first? Oh, <laughs> that's fine. Only this once, Nick. Thank you. Thanks. I got a letter from Nick. Tell her I'm sorry, will ya? Nick, you need to do that, not me. <laughs> All 
Alright, so we gotta deliver this letter to Olivia when we see her next. Now we gotta go find Emily. I feel like Thomas's disappearance is definitely going to be more significant than they're making it out to be right now. Hi, Emily. You want to get lunch? You're really going to see Harry. I have no idea what you're thinking at a time like this. But, you know, Thomas is still missing. What should we do for lunch? Uh, why don't you make it for us? Me? Well, okay, I'll try. sewer once during an investigation oh no okay just stop right there <laughs> uh, I'm feeling drowsy was it something I ate oh no well that was a mistake what I get for asking Emily to cook for us instead of going out to the diner I would have gone to the diner Diner food is great. I want to go to a diner. This doesn't help that I'm really hungry right now and that I'm not going to be able to eat dinner for another like hour and a half. Okay, where's my car? I have no idea where my car is. There's my car way in the back because reasons. You just had pizza? I just had pizza... I guess it's about a week ago. I had it on Friday. Okay, Olivia is right down the street. So we'll go visit Olivia. And then we're gonna go down to Brian's house. Then we're gonna head down to the extended lines. Pizza's tasty, though. Uh-oh, somebody's got 12,000 points. She wants my, my friend Pedro. I do think I own that one. And I haven't played it. All right, Cracker. Well, I will I have to schedule it. Although I don't know when I'll be able to do so it. To go somewhere before we visit Harry. With uh. That's fine by me. Going to visit grandmas. Uh, I'll talk with you, and we'll we'll find a, a time that you are available to watch it. How's that? But we'll make it happen. Oh, why am I taking out a pipe? I don't need a pipe. I'm gonna steal your onion, though. It's my onion now. Oh, have you voted on my on my poll yet, Cracker? I need I need more votes on there. Yes, I have for you a letter from Nick. What's this? Nick asked me to give it to you. It's a letter from him to you. Nick wrote this? For me? Olivia, I'm sorry for all the trouble I am causing you. I'm writing this letter because I need to tell you some things. First, I'm sorry about meeting with Diane without telling you. My actions were irresponsible and may have caused you to misunderstand. But I swear to God, I was not cheating on you. And I 
didn't kill Diane. That's what I wanted to tell you. As I sit here in this cell, all I can think about is you. Don't worry about keeping the diner open, okay? Try to eat well, too. I had thought that this happiness we had would just go on forever. I've always been grateful to you. But I've never told you, have I? I used to think that putting it into words made it sound cheap. But at times like these, words are all we need. That's kind of sweet. Thank you for everything. Once I get home, I'll make it up to you. Take care of yourself. I love you. Nick. 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 <laughs> Thank you for the vote. <laughs> Poor Olivia. But this is probably very um, sweet for her. Could you wait a moment, please? I want to write a reply. Sure. Go ahead. Thank you. Hopefully it's a that nice I reply. Hope Nick will feel better by this. Okay. Oh. I'll think about it for a while. Okay, have fun. Yeah, we'll definitely play my friend Pedro. I'll have to figure out, because we're still not entirely sure what day we're going back to that we're driving to Syracuse. Abby is still getting over being sick. She's feeling better today though. But we don't wanna go and get grandma sick. I'm not gonna try and fit my car through there. I think that's just asking for a bad time. You don't know if grandma asked your mom yet. I'm sure it's part of the plan. I mean, m grandma's birthday is on Monday, so she's going to, she's going to have, you know, precedence for getting to see you. Although we don't really know what our plans for her birthday are yet. She just did. She texted you. Nice. Good. Yeah, no, her birthday's on Monday, and then the fair starts on Wednesday. So Abby and I are probably going to be in Syracuse for about a week. Huh? Did you give her the letter? Here's her response. It's a letter from Olivia. From Olivia? What the? I wrote so much. More than I'd, I'd ever actually say. A lot more than this. And she writes me only three lines back. Not enough for you? Oh, no. No, it's, it's more than enough. She wrote as much as she could. That's the best she could do right now. Yeah. Three powerful lines. I believe in you. I'll wait for you. I'm sorry. I, I don't agree with the last one, though. I'm the one who has to apologize. Do you feel a little better now, then? Just wait until the case is finished. I promise this will all come to an end. Yeah. I, I know. I, I believe you. She's believing in me, too. And waiting for me. Well, I have to be going. Now hold, hold on a minute. Key to the back door of the diner. What good is that for me? What's this? The key to the back door of the diner. There's a big bag in the kitchen. I don't know if you could use it, but consider it yours. You'll have to help yourself to it, of course. I, I can't exactly go with you. Okay. I'll take this, and I'll go check it out. Looks like a return to better things for those two, eh, Zach? 
Nice. Now we have to go examine the diner. There's so many, so many side quests in this game. Jeez, there's 50 of them.